Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Carriage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what are the key steps for securing our infrastructure. So before we jump into the concept, you may get to know why do we need to prioritizing a secure infrastructure? The reason is nowadays, every day, there is a new cyber threat emerging or evolving in the industry. And also we are hearing the so many frequent news, cyber attackers and threat actors target data everywhere all the time. So to address this, we should have an idea what are all the key steps for securing our IT infrastructure. So the key steps currently, it includes mainly three steps. The first step is evaluate our current security state. And second one is define our future state cyber security strategy and last but not the least harden our environment so here environment or infrastructure means it covers all our data center key components which includes the servers storage network virtualization layer monitoring logging and also our data protection that means backup, disaster recovery, restoration, and also archival. All these are in, included within our IT infrastructure environment, okay? And let me take one example of VMware infrastructure. Let's say we have a VMware infrastructure, vSPF. So this diagram illustrates security at every layer and this is one of the conceptual diagram. If you let's let me start explaining from bottom to top. If you see in the bottom, we have a components, hardware components, and we have a servers. That means we have physical server on top. We are running with ESXi host, and we have a storage, data, and site. Not only single site, we have multiple sites. So let's start from the first concept. Let's say if we have a components, that means within our hardware, we have a network equipments like if you have one nick we should recommend to configure nick teaming grouping of multiple nicks that is for a in case of one nick down we can access from another nick and similarly within a storage also we can have a storage multi-pathing in case of one path down we can connect from a secondary path and similarly within a servers also we have a servers feature virtualization layer we can configure vSphere HEA that means high availability it is a continuous availability for virtual machine it is a failover mechanism and we also have a another failover mechanism technique that is called fault tolerance. But the difference between HA and FT is HA availability is 99.99% when it comes to the fault tolerance is 100% available, zero downtime. Okay, and within our vSphere cluster, we have another key features like vMotion, DRS. DRS means a distributed resource scheduler for load balancing purposes and DPM for power management. That means we are maintaining some key features within our virtualization layer. When it comes to the storage, we have a vSphere storage vMotion feature. In case of one storage is full, it will automatically migrate the virtual machine to another data store using data store cluster feature same as DRS feature within a data store level we have a feature called storage DRS if we enable storage DRS that is automatic okay that means we can able to secure our data like this we can secure not only hardware component layer server layer storage layer even when it comes to the data layer we can use either a VMware native backup tool like vSphere data protection, vSphere replication, or we can also utilize any third party backup solutions. For example, HPE Zeto. Zeto is one of the HPE authorized backup solution. It can be supported for your data protection and also disaster recovery purposes. And even third party tools like Veeam, Cohesity, Rubrik, Veritas Net Backup. These are all the backup tool. It will support for you all the backup, restoration, and also the archival purposes. 
and even for disaster recovery scenarios. When it comes to the site level, not only within your site data, if you have an entire site, any disaster happen, we should also maintain some disaster recovery tools. One tool from the VMware is SRM, Site Recovery Manager. In case of one primary site is any disaster or any outage happen, it can be recoverable from the, it can be accessible from the secondary site. Not only SRM, we can also use Jeto solution or we can use Cohesity, Veeam, Commvault. These all the tools supported for a site recovery management. Okay, so this is a high level overview. But the, at the end goal of VMware vSphere platform is make it possible to reduce planned downtime, prevent unplanned downtime, and recover rapidly from outages. Okay, this is a high level overview of security, how we maintain at the every level. Let's dive into some more key points is, but how as per the three steps, how we can assess and evaluate your, your current state. So assessment outcomes includes a plan to reach our target state. So in general, the assessment process practices includes identify and evaluate threats, vulnerabilities, risk, compliance requirements and effectiveness of existing security controls. For this assessment process, every organization, they may use some security scanning tools, like example, quad scan. Uh, uh, any of the uh, CA also have a CA scan tools. Based on the organization standard, you can use some security scanning tool. Using the security scanning, we can able to evaluate all this information. And suggested frequency once every two years, depending on industry and regulatory compliance requirements or when major architecture changes occurs. But nowadays, organizations are like some organizations are on premises, some are on a private cloud environment, some are moving to a hybrid cloud, some are running on a multi cloud environment. So, generally, for on premises, they may recommend to do security scanning on quarterly basis or off yearly or yearly basis, some are in a two years. But the same scenario applicable for the private cloud, hybrid cloud, and multi cloud environments as well. But the, at the end of the day, what is the benefit of doing this assessment? When we do this assessment, the outcome will be like a we need to understand the gaps in our current state security posture identified. For example, earlier I shown you the high level diagram of vSphere security state. When you do the assessment, we may get into the some picture. Let's say we have a monitoring covered on server layer, network layer and storage layer. After the assessment, we may find some risk or some compliances that says our hardware monitoring is not covered. So that can be one gap. And another scenario, let's say you covered your monitoring for the servers, network storage, but you haven't covered for a, any of the RDM storages. Normally in a virtual machine layer, we have a VMDKs, virtual machine disk files. Suppose in the hypervisor environment, any other hypervisor, the disk format may change, but the concept is almost similar. But there are a concept called RDM, raw device mapping. Suppose your raw device mappings are not included in your monitoring state. That is also one gap. This is an example. Same way, when you do the assessment, this assessment result may be vary from one organization infrastructure to another organization. But at the end of the day, we should understand the gaps in the current state security posture identified. And Another outcome is recommendation for remediation and mitigation. For example, our ESXi host is running with N minus one security patch. The recommendation will obviously, it will recommend to update our ESXi host. Let's say ESX is either seven series update three, it will recommend to update with the latest patch. If you are using a ESX 8.0, it's recommend to update with 8.0, update one or update two and so on. Okay, and this is how it will provide you remediation. Not only for ESX layer, it will also cover for your operating system level remediations and mitigations. And another outcome is action plan for remediation to achieve target state. Okay. And another key point, compliance with regulations and standards. Last but not the least, improvement of overall security posture. Okay. So this is the key importance of how we can secure our current IT infrastructure state so that it will be protected from the cyber attacks and threat actors. Our data will be fully secured all the time. Okay, hope you understand. Thank you.
If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignant Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.